everybody, my name is Mars, you can call me MG if you would like. Today I have for you a list of authors that I would like to give a second chance to. So these five authors are ones that I've read from before and wasn't really a fan of the book that I picked up, something just wasn't right. So I'm going to talk about each one, I'm going to bring up the book that I read from them and why it wasn't really my thing, why I would like to give them a second chance even though I wasn't impressed with their writing the first time, and for a couple of them the books of theirs that I'm actually interested in reading. So without any further ado, let's just start talking about them. So author number one on my list is Shay Earnshaw, who is the person on this list that I've actually read from the most recently. I read The Wicked Deep back in, I want to say December, it might have been the end of November, but somewhere around there, and I thought this was fine. It was just some of the decisions made in where the story went specifically in Act 3, just I was just not a fan of, I would not have done it that way, and um, looking back on it, I really don't think this could have had an ending that I was a fan of, given the setup to the story, but I, there was something about the writing itself that I did enjoy, so I would like to read from this author again. I don't have any specific books in mind. I know that Shay Earnshaw has got several out, so I've got a few that I can pick through, but um, I don't think I'm going to be picking up any soon because I'm 90% sure that all of their books are YA and I haven't been in a super big YA mood lately, but at some point in the future I would like to try one of their other books. Next up we have an author who I haven't even read an entire book from because I ended up DNFing it, and that is T. Kingfisher. I read, or tried to read, I believe it's called The Hollow Places? Maybe? Um, but yeah, I ended up DNFing this quite early on, like I think I was still in Act 1, but I just was not vibing with any of the characters whatsoever. I kind of hated all of them, and the premise wasn't enough to keep me going, but some of this author's other books definitely do feel more my vibe in terms of like premise and everything. Specifically, I want to check out What Moves the Dead, which is a retelling of The Fall of the House of Usher, which if you didn't know, I actually have my own retelling of The Fall of the House of Usher. It's called Harbinger. You can buy that if you want. There's a link in the description, but enough about me. Back to T. Kingfisher. Uh, what Moves the Dead is a book that my friend Violet actually recommended to me. She gave me a whole list at the end of 2023 of books that she's read and loved and thinks that I would also love, and What Moves the Dead was one of them, and I trust Violet's reading tastes, so that's one that I will definitely be giving a try at some point in the future. The third author on this list is Rin Gepecco, and let me tell you, I read Silver Under Nightfall Actually, about a year ago, it was the end of February, I hated this book. I was so excited for it because it's vampires, it's polyamorous, it has a genderqueer main character. No, I hated this book so much. Just a lot of the details about it just really got under my skin. I wasn't a fan of any of the romance dynamics because it's polyamorous. There are three characters who are all in relationships with each other and the dynamics between each pairing within that trio. Just none of them were things that I personally enjoy in romances and I just, I just did not like this book. But I did read the whole thing and I would definitely want to read more of this author's books because Jess from the Hex Library and I have very similar reading tastes and Jess sa has said that Rin Chepeco is one of those authors where the books are very hit or miss, so some of the books that Jess has read she's really liked and some she's really hated, and I think that's going to be the same for me. I feel like Rin Chepeco has to have at least one book that I like, I'm not sure what that is, but I will try to find it. Next we have another author that I have not read a full book from because I ended up DNFing it, and that is Mona Awad, who is a very beloved writer here on booktube, especially in the dark academia community, and I tried to read the book All's Well, and I think I got like 15 pages in and I had to give up. 
All's Well follows a disabled main character who has chronic pain, and if you didn't know, I also experience chronic pain. It's something that I have dealt with for years and years and years, and I just could not get into this character because it's not that they were poorly written, it's that they had such a drastically different worldview in regards to their disability and chronic pain than what I personally have that it made me so uncomfortable to read from this perspective and I just could not do it. But there are a couple of other books by Mona Awad that have caught my attention, the first being Bunny, which is another dark academia that I've heard nothing but great things about. Uh, Mona Awad also has a book called Rouge that I don't know anything about, but the cover is so pretty. I really like it. So I will hopefully be trying out one or both of those books at some point. And the last author on this list is someone that, if you've been around my channel for any period of time, you might be surprised to hear me talk about in this way, because they wrote my least favorite book of all time even more so than Silver Under Nightfall, because Silver Under Nightfall, there were a couple of things that I did like. This book, did not like at all. The author is Olive Blake, and the book is The Atlas Six. I read that a couple of years ago. I think it was right before it got picked up for, like, trad pub, because it was originally self-published and then got picked up by a traditional publisher, and I think it was right before it got picked up that I read it, and for what it's worth, I read the whole thing. Don't know why, I did not like this book at all. I feel like the premise was right up my alley and it had so much potential, but every decision the author made on how to actually go about delivering upon that premise was just not at all things that I enjoy in books. And I just, I don't know, man. It just was not for me in any regard, but, Olive Blake does have so many other books, and there are a few that have kind of caught my eye that I would be willing to give a chance. I will not, of course, be continuing with the rest of the Atlas Six series, because I think it's a trilogy and the last book might have recently come out, but um, a couple of other books that Olive Blake has that would interest me are like Alone With You in the Ether and Masters of Death. I don't know a ton about them, but the vibes that I've gotten from them make me think that they might be a little more my speed, and if I read them and I don't like those, it might just be the writing style that really gets to me, but I'm not sure because I was not paying attention to the writing style so much as how much I disliked every action the characters took in The Atlas Six, so I would like to give Olive Blake a fair chance, even though I really, really disliked the first book that I read from them. And so those are the five authors that I personally did not enjoy reading from the first time I tried, but would definitely like to read from again just to give them a fair shot because I feel like I might like other works from them a little bit more than the ones that I had picked up. Let me know down in the comments if there are any authors that you've read from and didn't really enjoy but would consider giving a second chance. But for now, this is the end of the video. If you've enjoyed it, please be sure to give it a big thumbs up. You can subscribe to my channel for more content, and that way I'll see you guys in the next one. Goodbye, everyone.